Main USA March 11, 2024. He's gone! The biggest storm Maine has seen so far this month moved in Saturday night into Sunday bringing high winds, coastal flooding, heavy rain, and snow. The storm comes at the start of Flood Safety Awareness Week, with moderate coastal flooding and numerous road closure impacting several communities. Flood warnings were issued for some coastal areas of the state until approximately 4 p.m. on Sunday. Portland was hammered with 2.5 inches of rain that started falling at 1 a.m., said John Palmer, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Gray. Downtown, Portland Pier was flooded and the street was blocked off with orange cones. What could possibly go wrong, Perry? Other rainfall amounts as of Sunday morning include 1.8 inches in Gray, 2.8 inches in Arundel, and 2.9 inches in Gorha. Shortly before 11 a.m., the storm moved out from southern Maine, but coastal flooding in the afternoon remain a serious concern, especially after high tide. In Old Orchard Beach, the town closed several roads due to flooding, including parts of Ways Grand Avenue, Temple Avenue, Randall Avenue, and Clover Street. In Westbrook, the intersection at Cumberland and Park Streets closed Sunday morning, and in Cumberland, traffic on Route 26 was reduced to one lane. Apart from that, a winter storm brought renewed impacts of coastal flooding to southeast New Hampshire over the weekend. A weekend winter storm brought a wide range of impacts to the northeast, from snow squalls and heavy rain to coastal flooding in New England. Strong onshore winds up to 55 mph pussy water ashore in New Hampshire on Sunday morning, flooding homes and streets in Hampton Beach on Sunday morning. Early Sunday, wind gusts were recorded at 64 mph in Kittery, 65 mph in New Harbor, 49 mph at the Portland International Jet Port, and 72 mph on an island of Rockland. There were substantial power outages Sunday, especially in coastal areas that were hit with the strongest winds. Hey everyone. Here I am outside. Uh, it's currently very flooded here, as you can see. These Thousands were left without power, especially in the southern half of the state. As of 6.58 p.m. on Sunday, Verzan reported about 3,185 customers without power. As of the same time, about 578 central main power customers were reported to be without power. I want y'all to see this whole bunch of water. Look, touching the engine. Probably in the engine. No need to fucking...
Earlier in Charlestown, South Carolina, damaging winds Saturday morning blew through the area with a severe thunderstorm. A record-setting rainstorm flooded parts of Charleston, South Carolina on Saturday, requiring emergency responders to help some people get out of high waters. The National Weather Service in Charleston reported that 3.63 inches or 9.22 centimeters of rain dulled downtown Charleston on Saturday, shattering the one-day record of 1.43 inches or 3.63 centimeters from 1948.